What is up guys? In today's video we're going to be looking at how we can create toggle buttons for our app using Swift UI and Xcode. So to demonstrate we're going to have an iPhone such as this one and when we tap on the button it's going to be able to toggle a boolean so we can apply some styles to our text. We can also reverse the text and you're going to notice they are going to have different background colors so I will also show you how to customize that. So it's a fairly simple project and let's get started immediately by holding down shift command plus N to start a new project. We will click on app and then click on next and then we need to give it a product name which can be called switch or toggle app or whatever you want. I'm just going to call it switch app and click on next. Then we're going to create a new project and we're going to wait for that to load. The next thing we're going to do is change this to an iPhone 13 or any iPhone of your choice and minimize the sidebars. Next we'll click on resume and also make this a bit smaller so we can see the code. So the first thing we want to do is create three states. So the first state is going to be for the first button. So private var is uppercase and that's going to be the button that controls the uppercase. Then at state private var is reversed, which of course will take control of reversing the text and showing whether it's reversed. And finally, we want also a state, which will be a private var of text. And this can be any text you want. And I'm just going to type in subscribe to Code Palace for some shameless self-promotion. Next inside here, we're going to go ahead and highlight this text, hold command and click on it and put it inside a V stack. Now we're going to remove this padding over here and we're going to add it at the bottom of the V stack. Up next we're going to go ahead and create a toggle button by typing in toggle followed by a description such as make text uppercase and then we need to provide a binding boolean and for this we're going to provide is uppercase. So if we actually start the program now we're going to have a very simple switch that's going to be the default switch. But I also want to show you that we can go ahead and copy this, paste it right under. We'll change this to reverse text, change this to is reversed, and we're going to add a style so we can actually change the color tint. And to do this, we'll go ahead and type in toggle style, switch toggle style, and we need to provide a tint inside here. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and do color.red. Now I also want to style the text at the bottom, so I'm going to go give it a padding followed by a font, which is going to be dot system. And I want to give it a size of 20 and a weight of dot bold. So we can see the text a bit better. Now all that there is left to do is to create the function that will actually change the text when we click on these buttons. Because for now it is just a placeholder that says hello world, but we want to combine it with something. So under the state variables, we're going to go ahead and create a function, which is going to be called change text. And it's going to take an underscore followed by an input of type string. And it's going to return a string, which will be the new string. Now, the first thing we should do is create this variable of new string. And that's going to equal the result of is uppercase. So if it is true, we're going to use the Elvis operator and return input dot uppercase. And if it is not true, we're going to go ahead and return the original input. So nothing will change there. Next, we're going to go ahead and create a if statement, which will check if is reversed is true. We're going to set this new string to first a string of new string dot reversed. And all we have to do here is return the new string. So this will take care of checking all of these booleans and updating the UI. So now all we have to do is go to our text down here and we're going to get rid of hello world, add a backslash and interpolate and insert the function change text, which takes only one parameter. And that is a string which will be our text. So now that's going to update and we can actually go to the live preview to see if it actually works. And if we click on make text uppercase, it's going to uppercase code palace. Otherwise, if we take it down, it's going to put it back to the normal size. And then we can also reverse the text in case you want to see it like that. 
and we can also uppercase that and it's going to look like Latin. And as you may have noticed, these are also of different tint colors. So we have successfully created two toggle buttons. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.